if I could do it, you could do it through the stress you're going through. Put the stress, change that into dedication and determination and consistency and discipline into this right now. If this is your dream, this when I used to be on my Before the video starts, I want to apologize now because I had to put like a pink little sticker over my mouth in the first portion of the video because unfortunately, y'all know when you be talking too much and you have that, like, that white stuff from your lip gloss, yeah, that was happening and I couldn't, I couldn't let it go out like that. So the pink heart will move, but honestly, if y'all want to listen to this like a podcast and let it play, you could do that as well, but I just wanted to warn you guys if you're watching it visually, but it's honestly all about the message in the video. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Don't let that please don't let that mess everything up but it'll go away very shortly hi right, welcome back to my channel my name is zai if you guys are new to my channel 23 years old trying to get my life together homebody introvert i feel like that's my new intro something like that but today's video is very random i'm just recording it off of just feeling the way i've been feeling lately especially going into the new year and i just want to spread some motivation encouragement for somebody because your girl is in a if y'all watch my vlogs, if y'all watch my channel, I'm in a very like healing era. I'm in my growing era, my grown woman era. I'm in like a whole bunch of like better in myself type of mindset pretty much. Pretty much in a place where I'm trying to better myself. So I just been very heavy on following my goals right now and just catering to myself and nobody else. And not being the reason why I'm not reaching my goals. And personally, stop making excuses for myself because I feel like, I, per I really feel like if you have a goal in your brain and it comes to your mind, that is because you can achieve it. Nobody else had the image that they could be a millionaire in two weeks. That is their plan for their life. They see it, they can get it. So I look at it like, Whatever I think in my head, whatever you think in your head, I feel like that's your personal vision and your personal life, your personal purpose that only you understand that you can only reach. So if that's something that you want to do, I am just, at, I'm just making this video to encourage you to go and do it. And in regards to the title, Stop Making Excuses and Start YouTube channel, I am in a stage where I am, I've been going through the most right now. I'm be honest with y'all. I've been going through it. A lot of people do. You just don't put it on the internet. You just don't talk about it. Some people do. Some people don't. I'm not going to really do that. Especially right now as it's like a lot of different things are happening. I don't want to speak on it. But that, I was falling off a little bit. I just needed some time to like regroup. But then at the end of the day, even through the sadness, even through the pain, I was like, I got to get back to my channel. And given, like I said, given the title of this video, I wish that I would have started my channel way back i wish i would have started my channel in middle school i would have probably been way further than what i am right now i'd probably been you know financially stable and just happy with where i am at life because i feel like that was one of my first real dreams that i actually wanted to do i don't know i just fell in love with it as a i grew up in a very sheltered household i'm an introvert as i, I told y'all but y'all will learn about me i grew up in a very sheltered household i couldn't do nothing so me and youtube was like besties those girls that i used to watch was like my best friends were like so comforting to me and that's where i fall into the love of youtube of like the comfort i get from watching people over the internet it does sound weird to some people but to me i know the effects that it had on me as a child and i knew that i wanted to do the same and i just like the recording yourself because i used to be it took me a minute to get back into it but i used to always be like the beauty girl the you know all the shower products even though i shouldn't have had all them shower products but all them shower products all the beauty getting into makeup but around me was not that so it kind of pushed me away from that and then me also being shy at that time and being um going through a lot of trauma i i just was like it was like a lot of factors that did not allow me to really act on that idea that I had and just me being scared, fearful, which is the worst thing in the world because right now I do it. And if I would have started back then, that probably would have helped my confidence so much more of me just putting myself out there and having the braveness to do it. I'm just in a stage where I don't want to keep saying, oh, I regret it, I regret it, like to dwell on the past, but I definitely, if I could go back, but I can't, if I could, I would have started in middle school. And with that being said, I know a lot of people are older and still have these type of mindsets like, oh, I wish I did YouTube. I wish I could. Just do it. Just get up and do it. 
we only got one freaking i be trying not to curse so much we only have one freaking life to live so what is the point of not doing something that you truly want to do you know how many people quit their jobs and get funded by this do you know how many people can record their life and have people want to watch it that is a luxury in itself alone like and it minds you, I used to always think nobody want to watch me, I'm boring. I honestly do think I'm boring. Most of my vlogs are in the house or if I'm outside, I'm by myself. I don't really be around nobody. I don't do much. I don't like the party scene. I don't like the going out scene. So when I go out, we're going to like Target. We're going to like Walmart. We're going to Dollar Tree. We're going to get some food. We're going to cook. We're going to do some home activities. But at the end of the day, somebody is like me. And even if somebody's not like me, there could be someone who's an extrovert that just enjoys watching me it's not about who's gonna watch me it's not about oh nobody's gonna want to watch me there is millions billions trillions of people on this planet somebody is gonna be bound to like your channel somebody's gonna bound to like you as a person maybe it's what you do in your videos that they like and then they grow to like you you gotta stop making excuses and just stop saying oh nobody's gonna want to watch me nobody cares nobody this views 12 people view your video Sit in a room with 12 people and live your life and let them watch you like straight up. You have to stop looking at numbers. You got to stop looking at who would watch me because you should be grateful for those people because those are going to be your 12, 12 OGs. When you are 10 years in the game, those are going to be the 12 people that are watching you now. They're going to say, I remember watching your first video. That's your mindset has to change around everything. And I have grown so much in a mindset way. I thought so negatively. I still struggle with it sometimes, but it's way better than what it ever was that's why like when i show up i show up when i come to this camera i feel a lot more confident because i have been working on myself i've been doing so much work internally that's why i really really un encourage whoever's watching this and in general i try to be encouraging and try to be honest about the fact that i go through things and i literally am going through things right now like every aspect of my life family relationship friends all that and still i'm showing up because at the end of the day this is my life so if you got to cut off things, if you got to cut people off, if you got to take a break from somebody, if you got to put somebody over there for a minute because you can't right now with them, just do that. If it's affecting your goals and your dreams and all of that, let them go. My biggest thing I've under that my biggest thing I've been living on is the phrase if it's for me, it's for me. If it's not, it's not. If you let something go and it don't come back, that means it wasn't for you. If it come back, it better be benefiting your life and it better be it better be serving your life in a good way. And if it's not serving you, it's time for it to go. That is the biggest lesson of everything that I've been... I've been learning so much in life. I want to... I don't know. I talk a lot. But I just be trying to give certain things that I've learned, that I feel like i learned, to my channel. Because I want it to be a place where y'all feel... You know, y'all learning something. Y'all growing mentally as well as watching me. Because that's what I'm, my path is. And I feel like that's kind of my purpose. is like showing people that you can come from what you come from but still make it because honestly it's, it's kind of funny because I, I i am referred to as the beyonce of the family sometimes i am that bougie cousin i am the bougie one because i just don't know i've always been like this and i'm just gonna say like not everybody in my family is like like me to be honest i just get called that because i don't know i like to get my hair done i used to be a hairstylist y'all if y'all check my channel i got videos on videos on everything of my life but I like to get my hair done. I wanted to get into makeup when I was younger, but at the time, which is not something good, but my mom wasn't really into makeup, so my mom wasn't into makeup and my dad was very strict, so I couldn't really get into it as heavily as I wanted to, but that was me starting to have individuality that I didn't get to act on. So when it comes to my life now, I do my makeup. I record makeup tutorials. I try to do my makeup in videos. I try to do it regularly because to me, I've let other people affect my life for so long and this is why I'm coming to make this video of prime example with this channel like with making a channel if that's something you wanted to do but other people around you made you feel like you know, like who would do that why would you do that I would never do that let them never do it how about you do it and when you got the funds and when you live in life differently they're gonna ask you what did you do to get there and then you have to remember I you have to just have the mindset of I follow my dreams even when everybody doubted me or everybody looked at me like I was crazy I follow my dreams something else something else I want to mention if you're in middle school high school college if y'all want to start a channel y'all better start your channel I feel like when you are in school that is the perfect time to start your channel because your audience is going to be so large this is a perfect time for you to start so if you feel like oh i'm nervous i'm this and that guess what middle school you're going to go to high school those people in middle school they're not going to really care and if they do you're, if they want to laugh at you if they want to say you're weird if they want to watch your videos and do weird stuff 
in class, like, you know, childish stuff, let them do it. You should be proud of your work anyway. If you're in high school, same thing. If you're in college, y'all know everybody want to watch college vlogs. Everybody wants to see how college is. Everyone wants to see college parties. Do that now so that your channel is growing and then you're going to have people that got to grow up with you and that's the best way to do it because you'll have people that's like, I remember when you was in middle school and now you're 25. Like, that, I love that vibe and that's why I say, for me, literally, I did that. I'm telling you, if you're watching this right now, start your channel. Make the channel right after this video. Also, even if you're older and you're a mom, even if you're older and you're not a mom, make your channel. There are so many, I am 23, but mentally I'm like 40, I'm young with y'all. Say not, mentally I'm like 30. But there are so many older women I watch because I look up to them because they are what I aspire to be as a woman. So just because you think, oh, nobody's going to watch me because I'm older, nobody's going to watch me because, oh, I just do this and that, it, I, I trust me. There's, there's girls like me who are looking up to women. I literally watch certain women because I look up to them. I get hygiene tips from them. I get life tips from them. If you know how to talk and you know so many things and you're grown, give advice. There's so many different areas that you can go about this. And I feel like while it's hot, we need to all get on it if you want to do it because it's 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 already gotten hot. Like everybody's on it, but you don't want to keep missing your opportunity to get in here while you can before it just, you know, the whole world wants to do it. And then it really gets hard to get up there. So yeah, I really, really, yeah, this video is just to really convince you to start, literally. I don't know, it's just on my heart to just tell people this. I don't know why. I don't know. Because I'm just in a mindset of like, if I could do it, you could do it. Through the stress you're going through, put the stress, t change that into dedication and determination and consistency and discipline into this right now. If this is your dream, if this is your goal, you want to quit your job, if you work a job, record. There's a girl I specifically watch and she literally went up from having a 9 to 5. And recording her day after work she didn't even record at work she recorded her day after work and it just showed people that there's still real people in a world of you know entrepreneurs people who do social media 24 7 they're still like you being yourself alone is going to attract so many people the last little tip because I'm gonna put y'all on after this so hold up I'm gonna put y'all on to something get your phone and record you don't need the thousand dollar camera yet especially if you're just starting start with your phone Show yourself you can be consistent. Maybe if you post your video, the, my, the first video might go up for you to the point where you're getting paid. You don't, you never know. M what I'm trying to say is stop making excuses. You don't need a camera to start. These iPhones are cameras. I literally, I have social anxiety. I go in a store, I'm recording like this with my phone. And the quality, damn near it looks the same. It's a little off. It's a little off than the camera. I'm not going to lie because the camera, honestly... It's not too off, uh, actually, when I think about it. They're both the same price, damn near. So, it's a little better. It's just a little more HD. But this phone still does the work. Clean your lens off, record your videos, plan your videos. With that being said, I have an ebook for, I have an ebook for $10. And it has 550 YouTube content ideas. And if your two says, I don't know what to post. There you go. $10 for 550 ideas and then after that, you should not have a problem. You shouldn't have no problems. What's the problem? Oh wait, you don't know how to start? Subscribe because my next video will be the ultimate how to start your YouTube channel. That's how I'm starting 2024. I think I was meant to get my itch together as soon as the year started because I'm about to I'm about to put the girls on, but then I'm gonna get back to back to work on my channel for real. I have a lot of content that I wanna do that I and trying to push out from YouTube to TikTok to Instagram. I have two YouTube channels. I have two TikToks and I have my one Instagram. I am trying to put the girls on right now. It's the top of the year. Let's do what we got to do because life ain't stopping. Time ain't stopping. The world ain't stopping. And you doing things that you think everybody else wants you to do is not pleasing you. So why are you doing it? And that's coming from someone who's a people pleaser their entire life. That's coming from someone where people say, oh, you're acting a little different when you start acting for yourself. Y'all are not starting going on google going on youtube and put in create a new channel i don't know what you watched the video for but let's start there make your channel comment if you made your channel um if you have a channel but you haven't been posting you ready to post let me know in the comments just talk to me in the comments let me know if this motivates you to get up and if you still feel like you got an excuse drop the excuse and i'll give you a solution because it, it's no more it's, it's no need 
I will link the, the ebook down below in the description box at the top. And also subscribe so you guys don't miss my next video, which will be the ultimate how to start your YouTube channel from equipment, planning, scheduling, recording. Also, leave any questions. I'm recording this video very soon. So if y'all have questions, leave any questions down below that you want me to address in the how to start a YouTube channel. This is like the basics like what to edit with what to record what's like all those type of basic questions so y'all can have a video to refer to y'all have an ebook with y'all have an ebook with 550 content ideas and you have the motivation to at least create your channel right now so with that being said i love you guys i hope that this was motivating i may come do random videos like this let me know if y'all like when i do this i, I was just on a I was just on the talking type of mood right now. I felt it on my spirit. It's Sunday. I listened to a sermon today. I felt it today. It was. I felt it today. So I will see y'all in the next video. I love y'all. I hope y'all have a great rest of your day. And peace.